What's going on guys? Burrito here and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be answering some of the comments in the comment section. They're all pretty much universal or they all pretty much say the same thing. It is how do I make and save a Giphy and upload it to my Discord server and what does it look like? Stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to give you the whole rundown, what it looks like and my uh, intentions. So before the video starts, I'm obviously going to give you my intentions. Um, me personally, I'm not really a fan of animated server icons. I'm not hating on Giphy itself or server icons. I'm just saying I'm not a fan of it. Reason being is I feel like server icons, uh, they really just look cool. So I think they look really cool, but the problem is if you want to make a server icon that either represents your server or you want it to be like really good looking and clear, that's not going to go well with animation because those two just don't go together. So for instance, I tried to make this as uh, animated and it shrunk the image. When I tried to make it bigger, the quality wasn't really that good, but I'm just showing you like these four servers, one, two, three, four, are all over 32 boosts, meaning they are well above animated server icon and they all chose to not have um, uh, animated ser server icon, including my server. The reason being, which I think, is because solid images that aren't animated give a clear representation of what your server is, or just give it a high, a higher quality representation of what your server is. And let me show you something that I noticed. So if we scroll down here, this server right here, S Sky Network Flight Sim. So that is a Discord server, which is boosted. And if you um, look at their image, it's animated. It looks like it's a gear. But I just wanted to show you, you're probably thinking, so why are you showing us this? I'm showing you this because they have a, a flight simulator Discord server and their image is a gear. So those two have no correlation. They don't, they don't match with each, with each other. The reason I think that it's a gear is because it just looks cool. It's a cool animated server icon. So if you guys want a server icon, then I think that you should only use it if you want a cool server icon that doesn't really represent your server, but it just looks cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right guys, so now we're on the internet and you can see I have giphy.com. So we're gonna go on to giphy.com and we're just gonna create a uh, gif and upload it to the test server. So we're gonna create and then we're gonna choose a photo Alright guys, so I picked an image. I just picked a burrito because um, my name's obviously Burrito. You can add more images, you can create more GIFs on one upload, but for now I'm just going to make one upload. So this is how you make one. You're going to upload your caption. So since we're doing it for the test server, I'm just going to call it test server. Once you do that, you can choose what color it's in. I'll just do blue, I guess. And then you can t uh, choose the style. Um, I'm probably going to do meme because it's a uh, it's big. I think that's pretty cool. And then we can have it like overlap over the burrito or something. Or just make it really big. So that looks pretty cool. And then animation for the word. Uh, we can do wavy because wavy looks pretty cool. And then you can go to stickers to choose any stickers that you have on here. Um, me personally, I don't put stickers on there just because... I want to keep it simple and then we go to filters if you like any filters um uh they have so many different filters so i'm going to show you all the filters you have dreamy vhs black and white semi sepia rainbow glitch lightning bad tv cross process spooky ripples Rumble and ASCII. So I'm gonna go with Rumble, I guess, and then um, you can draw on it if you would like. Uh, I'm not gonna draw on it because I, I'm just not gonna. And then continue to upload. Then that's all you need to do. You can make make it public. You can make it private. I make mine public just because it's easier to upload like that or download, I guess. All right, and. It's uploaded to Giphy at least. Now all you gotta do is you gotta go to media 
and then you gotta download it. So I'm just gonna download it for um, small because I know Discord isn't a fan of uh, big uploads. So I'm gonna drag it onto my PC, pull up Discord. Now we are gonna go to test server, but we can't actually go to test server because test server is uh, not boosted. So I'm just gonna go to Ultimate Gaming Lounge and then you go to server settings and then it says change icon you're gonna press on that or you can press upload image your choice so it brings me straight to my uh dog because i use that for my youtube videos we're gonna go to desktop and then once you go to desktop this image right here animated gif downsize you're gonna click on that and then it looks like that So if you guys like that, that's what it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna press save changes because this is obviously isn't gonna be my uh, icon, but we're gonna press reset. So it goes back to my old one. But um, if you press escape, uh, it would look like this. So imagine this was animated, okay? Imagine we had the old image right there. So it would have the burrito saying test server and it would be still, it would, it would be still. That's all it would look like. So it would look like a solid image but once you hover your mouse over it, it would start doing the rumble animation and the words would start weaving like we did. So as you can see, this animated image is still, but once you put your mouse over it, it starts to move. So that's kind of how animated uh, server icons work. That's how they look. And thanks for watching it. Now we are going to queue to the second part of the video. All right guys, so um, we're in my server UGL. This is the second part of the video talking about um, server icons. So if we go to my tech support help chat, he said, um, he or she said, at Ultimate Burrito, which is me, how did you make the server moon background thingy? My server can get one, but I'm not sure how. The how to doesn't seem to work. So um, this is how you do it. So this right here, he's talking about the moon thingy, AKA my server background. So if you go to the, um, drop down menu and then server settings and you scroll down you can see that you have two different options if you are boosted um i don't know when you get the server invite background let's check right now so um animated server icon and server invite background is uh level one and then level two is server banner so yeah if you're level two then you can have all three of those options the animated server icon invite and uh just banner background so all you need to do, this is actually very easy. You need to upload a background. When it says upload a background, they mean upload an image. When they mean upload an image, they mean an image that is 960 by 540. That is the resolution. If you don't know how to do that, then I recommend that you go onto a website called Canva. So let's switch to that. All right guys, so we're on Canva right now. It's called canva.com. And this is where I make some of my thumbnails, um, some of my images, and it's very, very, it's, it's an amazing website. I am not sponsored by them, but I'm just showing you guys that this is an amazing website. I really love using them, and um, I'll just show you how to create a design. So uh, if you go to custom dimensions, like they said right here, 960 by 540. So all you have to do is find an image on the internet that can be used for... Um, commercial use and or editing with commercial use um my uh i had an old graphic designer that made this for me so i don't know exactly how he made it but um i'm going to show you how i would make it so just find an image on the internet all right so we looked up discord so i just looked up discord logo because that was the easiest so you're going to want to go to tools usage rights and then reuse with modification then once you do that you're going to save one of these images so I'm just gonna save image as Discord logo. Then you're gonna go back to Canva and you're gonna press custom dimensions. Like we said earlier, it was 960 by 540. So you're gonna go to 960, 540. All right, so we got the images, uh, or we got the Discord logo uploaded. So we can just have it say Discord for now. And then, if, oh, whoops. Uh, and then you can type anything under it. I guess you could say like 
This is my server. Alright, once you do that, that's literally all you need to do. It doesn't have to be the Discord image, it doesn't have to say this is my server. It literally just has to have this, this resolution. Once you do that, you're going to press download. Once you press download, it'll uh, go down in the logo, or uh, downloads right here. And then you're going to drag it onto your desktop like I did earlier in the video. And you go to Discord, upload background, and then boom. You just pick that image, and you're done. So I appreciate you guys watching the video. This video actually took a lot more editing than you think. So if you guys want to drop a subscription or a, uh, a like on the video, I would love that. Um, I did open up my own merchandise line. I've had four purchases, purchases so far. So I'm super excited about that. Everything will be linked in the description on how to support me. And once again, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.